Hello, church family. Welcome to BHC Today. Lisa and I are in Sturgis Bay, Wisconsin. Oh, what a beautiful place it is. About 30 miles east of Green Bay, and behind me is Lake Michigan. Uh, but you can't see it, but there's a lighthouse uh, just to my left. It's just a beautiful landmark. It reminds me uh, of many times in life. Uh, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever argued with God? I mean, have you ever wanted to do something and, and God said no, or the Bible says no, Well, you're determined to, to tell God why you're right and he is wrong. And so you just keep on moving forward in your direction and thinking God's going to change his mind or God's going to agree with you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. God doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. We are the ones who need to listen to God and change our ways according to his word. Reminds me of a song I heard years ago, and this, it was a story of about a ship sailing in the North Atlantic. And it was late at night when the ship saw another, the light of another ship in their path. And so the Morse code, please redirect your ship 10 degrees to the north to avoid collision. And the Morse code came back, uh, a negative, you need to direct your sh ship 10 degrees to the south to avoid collision. Well, the guy got angry and said, no, I... I asked you first, redirect your ship 10 degrees to the north or we're going to collide. And they ever got closer and the reply said, negative, N you n redirect your ship 10 degrees to the south. And they got closer and closer. And then the, finally the ship said, do you know who I am? I'm Captain uh, Sinsaba and I order you now to direct your ship 10 degrees to the north or we're about to collide. And the reply came, well, Captain Sensaba, I am the lighthouse, and I cannot change my direction. I encourage you to direct your ship 10 degrees to the south. That's why we are sometimes. Sometimes we want God to change when he is steadfast and sure. We need to listen to his warnings and redirect our lives according to his word. May I remember every day that many times I have my ideas, but God knows the paths I need to take. So I adjust my life according to his ways and his word to avoid collisions and danger in life. I am the light of the world. He's like the lighthouse. He's the one who keeps us and directs us where to go. Remember these words as we make choices every day. May God bless you today and be encouraged.